my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 432 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on featureization and feature engineering before understanding this particular lecture i request you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 431 so there are other forms of data for example your data set could be stored in database tables uh, you could have data set like this you could have table t1 where you have customer id customer location where does the customer live where where does he order products typically is so in table 2 you could have things like customer id product id and uh, timestamp here customer 2 for example in in table 2 let me say customer id means let me say to uh, purchased product id let me say product id is 10 like that i can i can understand things isn't it so your data could be stored in database in the form of tables you could have other database table t3 which says for a given product where you can have information like uh, product uh, product id you could have things like uh, product price isn't it product price and product uh, discount T, uh, t1 is uh, customer table isn't it uh, which says some information about the customer t2 is purchase table which stores information uh, information about which customer purchase which product which customer purchased which product T3 is the product table where you have information about each of the products and their related information. Your data could be stored in, in, in database, in database tables. Given data being stored uh, like this, how do you convert this data into numerical features for machine learning? We will see some, uh, some simple examples of how to convert data database tables or relational database tables into numerical features on which you can apply machine learning models isn't it that we will try to understand before understanding those things the other type of data is called graph data it is very very interesting uh, type of data graph data typically found in many real-time applications for example you know, for recommend recommend a friend on uh, recommend a friend on your facebook on facebook if you think each user each user as the vertex u1 means user 1 u2 means u user 2 u3 means user 3 u4 means user 4 uh, on facebook if you think think of each user as as this vertex in a graph you can have multiple users this is u1 is user 1 user 2 and user 3 user 4 user 1 and user 2 may be friends to each other isn't it user 1 and user 2 may be friends of each other user 1 and user 3 are friends when they are friends we will connect them by using a line that is edge isn't it each vertex is a user in graph and each line in graph is edge this look very simple isn't it u4 u4 uh, let me say u4 is also friend of u2 and u2 u2 and uh, u3 could be friends now the question here is let's assume each of these are users now if you want to predict friends for u4 if you want to recommend for if you want to recommend for you friend for you for it makes sense it makes sense for for us to recommend probably u3 to be a friend of u4 because u4 and u2 u4 because u4 has u2 as a friend and these three uh, these three people u1 u2 and u3 are very good friends if u4 is friend then there is a very good chance that u1 and u3 could also be friends uh, friends to u4 not necessarily always if you if you want to recommend if you want to recommend if you want to recommend a friend you look at these relationships like who is connected to whom you look at this you look at uh, uh, this connection information in graphs 
and now given these graphs a graph has basically vertices and edges edges are basically relationships using this graph given some give given somebody gives this graph how do you convert somebody give this graph how do you convert how do you convert into numerical vector so that so that so that you can apply machine learning models on top of it so you can say how many common friends does u2 and u4 have that could be an interesting feature isn't it we will see some interesting some interesting examples on graph data and how to convert information or data given in graph into numerical vector so that you you can build machine learning models on top of it but remember there are tons of there are tons of, of types there are uh, tons of types of data and most importantly feature ideation is something that uh, uh, some some something that researchers have spent decades uh, performing research on it for example if you take images there is almost 30 plus years of uh, research 30 plus years of research on how to convert an image how to convert uh, an image into how to convert an image into numerical vector so that you can apply uh, classical machine learning algorithms on top of it isn't it once uh, there is a research on images 30 plus years of research on how to convert images into numerical vectors after converting numerical vectors you can apply classical machine learning algorithms on top of it there is almost 30 plus years of research images come in various in various things uh, one way of featureizing x x rays uh, the techniques to featureize x rays may not work very well for for faces that what works for faces may not works very well for MRI scans because see the, the uh, uh, for other X rays are different format and faces are in different format MRIs are different format. See these are different types of pictures if you look at, isn't it? And and um, and what works for MRI scans may not work uh, for satellite uh, images, isn't it? So for every type of images, there are typically uh, for every type of images that are typically process digitally people have come up with feature ideations similarly for, for people come up with feature ideations for for all type of all types of this data the data may be x-rays faces mri scans satellite images similarly for stock market data if you have the for stock market data there are billions of dollars there people are spending billions of dollars if you come uh, if you come up with good feature ideation for stock market data you you can uh, you can make lots of money isn't it there is there is almost like 50 to 60 years of great research on stock market data alone thousands and thousands of great researchers spent billions and billions of dollars spent here it's impossible any of us uh, us to cover all the feature ideations you cannot cover all you cannot cover all feature ideations it is impossible it's almost 30 to 40 40 years of research so research so we will typically cover uh, the more the most commonly used feature ideations are general purpose feature ideations for text we have seen bag of words we only covered general purpose feature ideations suppose if you if you take x rays or if you take x rays and you you can you want to build machine learning model whether somebody have problem somebody have problem or not somebody has medical conditions or not so first thing you should always do is look at look at all the literature and all the scientific research what is the feature engineering what are the featureization techniques that people have already uh, studied for excess uh, for last 30 to 40 years and what are the advanced techniques uh, just uh, what are the advanced techniques today for x-ray images that, that will be helpful in featureizations we will we will cover most general purpose most commonly used one uh, um, uh, we will try to understand all these concepts with the help of k 
case studies in our uh, in, in our future lectures uh, as i told you in x-rays uh, just if you apply feature engineering uh, you can up, uh, depending on that feature engineer feature ideations and feature engineering methods you can apply machine learning algorithms on top of it just go through this lecture and this this forms the basis for uh, future case studies we will try to build case studies on this particular feature engineering just even like graph data just go through it if you have any doubt please keep a comment thank you very much